YouTube has been a big part of my life throughout my childhood, teens, and early adulthood, and I've been making YouTube content for at least 10 years, although the videos I made when I was 11 years old were pretty rubbish and I've since taken them down. In that time, I've not only made YouTube videos, but I've also watched a ton of YouTube throughout my school years. Now, if the title scared you, don't worry, I'm still going to be uploading to YouTube, I'm simply going to stop compulsively watching YouTube. You see, I've never been an avid social media user. I've never used Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, or TikTok. I did briefly have an Instagram account when I was at school, but I never really used it, and I closed that account years ago. However, YouTube has been a major exception to this, because there's so much variety on the site, and there really is something for everyone. I don't really watch Linux content, but I do watch a lot of general tech, science, transport, and DIY content, because I'm a nerd. So this includes some of these channels for instance, and I'm not sure about you guys, but I can personally watch a bunch of YouTube videos without getting bored, and that's a problem when you have other commitments, goals, or hobbies. As we've gone into the new year, I've realised that the time I spent watching YouTube and playing video games could have been invested in high quality leisure. Things like building a business, working out, learning to play an instrument, becoming fluent in another language, and of course working on my own YouTube channel. I have a lot of things I'd like to do, but just haven't been able to because it's so easy to just be lazy and make excuses. Now, in moderation, I don't think it's inherently bad to watch YouTube, play video games, or engage in other entertaining habits. I'm not one of those grindset folks who thinks every nanosecond of your life needs to be productive or else you're a loser, but I think a problem with YouTube is there's a ton of content on the platform that makes you feel like you're being productive. The content has value and I'm by no means discrediting these creators, but it's definitely easy to binge this content rather than actually implement what these people are saying into your life. At least that's what it's been like for me. I've also seen the sentiment of people on YouTube raving about how amazing it is to quit social media as if YouTube isn't social media. There are mixed opinions on this, but I think YouTube definitely is social media. Especially with the introduction of community posts and the mad death scroll of YouTube shorts bringing the brain rot content of TikTok over to YouTube which I find makes it more difficult to use YouTube in a productive way. Of course, I don't expect to be hyperproductive overnight. I am human, so I probably will relapse a few times, but I have started to make some steps towards reducing my dependence on YouTube. For example, I used to just listen to music through YouTube because I don't like most music streaming services, and there are songs that are quite difficult to find outside of YouTube. For example, alternative covers. However, I've recently started hosting my own music server, using a popular piece of free software called Jellyfin. I ought to make a video about how to set up a Jellyfin server, but so far I've really enjoyed the experience. There's also a very nice browser extension called Unhook, which allows you to remove a lot of the distracting elements from YouTube, like recommended videos and comments. In any case, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, cheerio.